Ann Coulter did a rally with Donald Trump a few days ago on the campaign trail. We covered a story from this yesterday, but we have another one today. Right Wing Watch got some footage of how she ended her speech. This is amazing. Since Donald Trump has announced that he's running for president, I felt like I'm dreaming. I can't believe I turn on TV and primetime TV every night. They're talking about anchor babies. They're talking about sanctuary cities. They're talking about Mexican rapists. They can only win. They're talking about the wall. I love the idea of the great wall of Trump. I want to have a two-drink minimum, <laughs> make it a big worldwide tourist attraction, and everyday live drone shows whenever anyone tries to cross the border. <laughs> I have not had this much hope for America since November 7, 2012. No particular reason. I was just rather depressed that day. And now I think it's like Joseph in the Bible. He had to be sold into slavery, imprisoned, betrayed, so that eventually he could save the Jews. Maybe Mitt Romney had to lose. And maybe we had to give Republicans one more chance in 2014. And maybe Mitch McConnell and John Boehner had to betray us once again to pave the way for President Donald Trump. God hasn't given up on America yet. Thank you. God hasn't given up on America. God wants Donald Trump to be president. She's a Christian. Jesus wants Donald Trump to be president. Jesus does. You sure? There's this great meme going around the internet right now which shows like a picture of Jesus and a picture of... Bernie Sanders, and it says, like, Jewish, Jewish. Was a carpenter, was a carpenter. Socialist, socialist. And I think it says some other stuff, too. By the way, I have no idea if it's true that Bernie Sanders was a carpenter, but either way, it's funny. And the the spirit of the point is certainly true. The spirit being, Bernie Sanders is way more in line with the philosophy of a guy like Jesus than Donald fucking Trump is. In her rant, she just said early on that she's super concerned about anchor babies and Mexican rapists. Let me ask you guys a question. If Jesus came back, would that be in his platform? I'm so concerned about these fucking anchor babies. All these Asians and these Hispanic people come here and they shit out a kid and then I, we gotta let them live here. What the fuck? I wanna kick them out. I'm so concerned about Mexican rapists. Is that what Jesus spoke about? Is that part of the Sermon, uh, sermon on the Mount? <laughs> But point to me the spot in the Bible where Jesus is like, fucking Mexican rapist. I can't stand it. <laughs> now, you and I both know, and I've spoken about this before on the show at length, I've given you the Bible verses. The Bible is wildly contradictory. So there are places you can justify the worst of the worst, you know, slavery, war, all that stuff, or you could justify the best of the best in certain parts. But there's a, there are a few things where there's really not two sides in the Bible. It's just there's one message and it's straight through the entire thing. Those things are wealth. The Bible is clearly anti-rich people, anti-wealthy people. The story of Lazarus in the Bible is amazing because it, it, the message is if you're rich on earth, you can't get into heaven no matter what you do. No matter what you do. So that's in the Bible. But then also... On immigration. Now, I didn't know this until I, you know, I've been doing the show for a while and I had to look up, hey, what does the Bible say on immigration? And you go through all the passages and you're like, good googly moogly. Everything is like, treat the sojourner, that's what they call them, Tr treat the sojourner as if it's your neighbor, as if it's your brother, as if it's your friend. You know, give them everything. The Bible's also, there's a, you know, a, a passage that comes up which is pro welfare. I wonder if uh, Ann Coulter is going to be talking about that. Oh, I love welfare because my religion says I should. I'll wait for it. You know it's not coming. But see, that's the thing, man. And this is what I want from Ann Coulter. I want her to just pick one. You know, you can be this over-the-top conservative douchebag, which is clear that you are. <laughs> or you could say, okay, I, I am a Christian and I do know that on some issues there's no contradiction so I can't choose to be a bad person and I'm pro-immigration. So, you know, be a conservative douche in some ways, but be liberal on immigration 
and be liberal on taxing the rich. Because there, there are no two interpretations in the Bible. It's perfectly clear. So, which is it? Pick one.